Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to hopefully resolve issues you guys might be having with your screen flashing or flickering. Um, while there could be a variety of causes that are creating this issue, I'll be going through a couple different brief things that you can do to hopefully resolve this for you guys. So the first thing we're going to do is head over to the start menu and we're going to left click on it and then we're going to search up MS config. System configuration should come up right after desktop app on the search results. So you want to right click on it and then left click on run as administrator. Okay, so we're going to head over to the services tab and then I'm going to sort alph alphabetically and there are going to be two different services we're going to try to disable today. The first one we're going to look for is problems, report, and solutions. I believe it also says control panel next to it. So I'm just going to scroll down this list here. So we see problem, reports, and solutions, control panel, support. Left click on the little check mark box next to this on the left side. Make sure it's deselected. And then you want to scroll down until you get to Windows Error Reporting. So if you're sorting ascending order with the alphabet, it should be closer to the bottom. You want to uncheck that box as well. And then left click on Apply and OK. You might be prompted if you want to restart your computer to save the changes now. We're going to exit without restart for right now. Okay, so now what we want to do is head back to the Start button and we're going to right click on it this time. And then we're going to select Run from this menu. Now what you want to do is type in app appwiz.cpl and then click on OK or hit Enter on your keyboard, whichever you prefer. So then you'll see different programs listed here. Select Microsoft Visual C++. It might not say 2008 on here. It very well might say 2010 for you guys. It doesn't necessarily mean it's the exact version I have. And then you're going to left click on Uninstall. And you're going to completely uninstall this application. Once you're done doing that, you're going to restart your computer. If you're still experiencing issues, attempt to boot into safe mode and perform the same steps again and make sure everything's been saved. Um, again, I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.